There's a lot of things that the Tibetan Nuns Project does, including looking after nuns who come all sick from Tibet after being tortured and tormented in the prisons. And then many of these nuns who come from Tibet, they come with literally tattered health. And we spend a lot of money, energy, and people's resources on improving their health. We're also seeing that there are a lot of women's health issues that need to be addressed, that there's a lot of ignorance about basic functionings of the body. The education that people have had in Tibet has not included any of what we would take as kind of standard basic health education. And one of the things that we've done over the years is we've trained nuns from five different nunneries as basic health care workers. Although self-sufficiency in the, in the long run is our goal, it's not something you can just put in place immediately. And basically, we're looking to really educate and train a group of nuns, and then those are the people who are going to be able to take on and really run self-sufficiency projects. There are those who can produce something with their hands, like sewing or pottery or making papers or, you know, we even keep cows to feed the nunnery with milk. All these, you know, income generating projects, which could make the nunnery self-sufficient. So we are looking at everything and say, making it into a positive angle to the nun, so that she can feel productive, positive, and uh, yes, be, a, be someone who can contribute something to the nunnery and eventually to the community. One of the biggest problems we face right now is Shuksep nunnery. And the reason is that the nuns are living in buildings that are disintegrating year by year. And the property that they're living in is no longer accessible by road. And <laughs> We're now responsible for about 500 nuns. On a Western scale, the cost of living is really cheap. We figure that um, we can basically support someone for $30 US a month, but you multiply that by 500, and that's a significant amount of support that needs to come. You can sponsor a nun for $30 a month, you can sponsor a teacher for $100 a month. So that Development and sustaining of Domaling is an important project. And then the ongoing funds to help all of the nunneries, uh, which is mainly through sponsorship, so that they can sustain themselves and get their educational programs going as well. We need to build up the uh, endowment to continue Domaling and really let this be a model educational project. We still have lots of more needs, whether, you know, Domaling looks good or not. We, had, we do have lots of needs. You imagine 100 people living together, eating every day. You will get an idea of why we are so anxious about our needs. <laughs> and we only do this because they're there, doing something wonderful, studying, studying values, studying to be a better human being. And we get the courage to ask for help because of that.